BSI for any airway skill should include gloves and eye protection at a minimum. If an oropharyngeal or nasopharyngeal airway is available, it should be inserted now. If you don't have an airway adjunct, utilize the head tilt chin lift maneuver if appropriate. Choose the proper mask for the patient, either adult or pediatric, and then attach it to the universal connector on the BVM. Create the proper mask to face seal by using the EC technique and begin ventilating the patient at the proper rate and volume. If you're testing for NRAMT certification, you'll be required to demonstrate artificial ventilations for 30 seconds. Proper volume is determined by adequate chest rise during inflation of the lungs. The ventilatory rate, per American Heart Association guidelines, is 10 to 12 breaths per minute for an adult patient who is apneic. For testing purposes, that will be 5 to 6 breaths over 30 seconds. It's worth noting that students and healthcare providers tend to give too large of a breath at rates that exceed these guidelines. Stop ventilations and connect oxygen to the reservoir bag on the BVM. Turn on the oxygen tank and set the regulator to 15 liters per minute. Verify that the oxygen reservoir is filling and then re-establish a proper mask to face seal. Continue ventilating the patient at 10 to 12 breaths per minute. After reopening the airway, If two healthcare providers are available to administer ventilations, you should control the mask while your partner operates the BVM. In NREMT testing situations, you'll need to direct the second rescuer to administer ventilations at the proper rate and depth while you maintain an open airway and a proper mask to face seal. You will again have to demonstrate proper ventilations for 30 seconds. Five to six ventilations with just enough air to make the chest rise.